Independence Day, people. Not the 4th of July. Let's not do this improperly. It is Independence Day. And it has to be said properly. It drives me crazy when people don't. Tony Katz, Tony Katz today. It's good to be with you. Phone number is 833-GOT-TONY, 833-468-8669. That's, that's the number. You can be a part of, of the show. And I said, I, I did this earlier. Uh, when, when, the, when these holidays come, I, I will be providing my uh, cigar choices. As you know, I, I am a guy who pays attention. I am focused. Uh, I, I like a good cigar. I like a good bourbon. Eat, drink, smoke, my cigar and bourbon review show. Stations all across the country and growing. Uh, and and uh, people should learn good ways to relax. That's my take. Ooh, there's going to be fireworks, fireworks on the 4th of July. Uh, that's enough of that. I just like a little schoolhouse rock. So what did I recommend? Well, first, I, I recommend that you really do take the day to make sure you've told your kids what Independence Day is all about. It's more than fireworks. The idea, the very concept of the Declaration of Independence is a worthy conversation. I mean, in, in, in my house, admittedly, there's a copy of the Declaration of the Independence in, in the dining room. It's, it's, it's right there. I actually have to get myself a copy of the Constitution. My copy of the Constitution is uh, in, in, in my parents' home down in Florida. They took it years, actually, well, I shouldn't say they took it. I did actually make it for them. For, and then and then I thought I was going to get it back one day, and I still haven't. So I got to go get my own. But it's more than just the idea of, yeah, we're a country. And you, you hear it often, right? You, you hear it often, especially when it's Joe Biden. You know, we hold these truths to, to you know, the thing. That's not what God said. The unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. I mean, just that, st- that sentence alone. Unanimous, we declare, and it's all of us. More than just unanimous, we, 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 we number ourselves. We're different and together. 13 states, uh, 13 parts of the United States of America. We have named ourselves. It's just, this isn't even in the first, se- we're not even through the first sentence and we're in the punch in the face. That's a story in and of itself. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Translation, hey, king, we're equal. You you told the king that you're equal. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Who does that? The founding fathers did. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Well, we find ourselves in many of these conversations now. And those people who say, well, you're not allowed to uh, revolt against uh, the federal government. We got we've, we have nukes and F-15s. That's what President Biden said. But yet a guy dressed up like a centaur, like a Viking, he can take down the entire government. You understand they're garbage. That, those those com- the concepts are nonsense. Just another one of many reasons to be opposed to a commission. Oh, I'll get into the whole commission 
thing. You got to have a commission on January 6th. Don't don't be silly. There was no revolution. No revolution has ever taken place when people have time to take a selfie. When the revolution takes place, oh, trust me, federal government will know it. That's my take on how I think it would go down. They would be fully aware of what's going on. But the Declaration of Independence is this. Is, is remarkable. And don't just go through the parts that you know. Go through the parts that you don't. How about all of the reasons that impel them to the separation? Let facts be submitted to a candid world. And they go through it. He has made judges dependent on his will alone for the tenure of their offices and the amount and payment of their salaries. He has erected a multitude of new offices and sent hither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. He has kept among us in times of peace standing armies without the consent of our legislatures. He has affected to render the military independent of and superior to the civil power. For quartering large bodies of armed troops among us, for protecting them by mock trial, from punishment, for any murders which they should commit on the inhabitants of these states, for cutting off our trade with all parts of the world, for imposing taxes on us without our consent, for depriving us in many cases of the benefits of trial by jury, for transporting us beyond seas to be tried for pretend offenses, for abolishing the free system of English laws in a neighboring province, establishing therein an arbitrary government, and enlarging its boundaries so as to render it as once an example and fit instrument for introducing the same absolute rule into these colonies and it goes on and on and on he has abdicated government here by declaring us out of his protection and waging war against us he has plundered our seas ravaged our coasts burnt our towns and destroyed the lives of our people this is this is an incredible statement You think someone's brave because they declare their sexuality in Hollywood? Oh, hell no. This, my dear people, is brave. Imperfect men recognizing their station and still saying we can do better. Hot damn. Tell that story. And then uh, my, my advice is to smoke a cigar. Look, if you don't smoke, have a bourbon. You you don't drink, have a hot dog. I'm not judging. But I, I said I, w- I would share them uh, uh, again, the, the, the cigars that I would I would recommend. And, I, you know, I did theme them up. I, I made them all Liberty-themed. Uh, start with the Camacho Liberty Series 2021. Uh, they put this out once a year. It's a 7 by 48 So 7 inches long, 48 is the ring gauge. So that's the diameter of the cigar. So a 64 ring gauge is a full 1 inch around. That's a thick cigar. That's uncomfortable. As the the people would say in the business. Oh, that's not what I want to do there. As the people would say in the business, that has very, very bad mouthfeel. Hey, phrase it. I'm just saying what it is. Don't get mad at me, Archer. Uh, but the the this is a 48, so easy, easy smoke. Lasts about an hour and 45 minutes. Dominican and Honduran uh, in the binder and filler, and I think it's a, it's an Ecuadorian wrapper. It's going to be full-bodied, going to give you some wood, going to give you some spice, uh, going to give you, uh, depending on who you are, maybe a bit of, of, of coffee. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great, great smoke, especially if you like those kind of more earthy tones to a cigar. You're going to find it for about $20 a box. Absolutely worth the price of admission is the Camacho uh, Liberty. You want to spend a little bit less or a lot bit less, the CAO America. So CAO makes a series of good cigars that I like. Uh, for me, the Amazon Basin. The CAO Amazon Basin is a stellar smoke. Comes out once a year. The America they have, and they've got the Brazil, and they've, they've, they've got a series of them. So the America is this barber pole Look, I think some people call it pinstripe. I've always referred to it as barber pole. So it's part Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro and part Connecticut Shade Wrapper. Very, very cool uh, uh, look. And then it's Brazilian in the binder and and Nicaraguan in the filler. Um, It it comes in a series of sizes, and sizes are often referred to as vitolas, V-I-T-O-L-A. just means the size. 
uh, of the cigar. It also could be, you know, the, the size, the shape of the cigar. It's made in, in, in different ways. You'll, you'll find this as a Toro. You'll find this as a uh, what they call a Bellicoso, which is a torpedo, which means it just comes to a tip at, one, at, at the end that you cut. That that's all it means, it, 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 but there's a reason for it in terms of what the what the the master roller is is trying or blender is trying to create, what kind of feel they're trying to get for the cigar, and that's why you have different shapes uh, to these things. But you can find that cigar for like seven or eight dollars, and it'll do you ju- it'll do you just fine. Um, a touch of cocoa, uh, a touch of cream uh, with with that cigar. It, it's not as complex. Um, as 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 some of the 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 other cigars, um, maybe a bit of like a, like a nutty flavor uh, in there. It should it should be easy and simple, maybe in that medium kind of category. And then the American from J C Newman. Now J C Newman makes great cigars. They, they make the whole Diamond Crown series and the Maximus and the Black Diamond, Julius Caesar. I I, I like what what they do. The American is probably the least popular, that's my take, of their cigars. But what's cool about the American is that the American is made completely in, in, in the U.S. This is American made, American grown, American done. It's, it's very, very cool. It's a Florida sun grown. Uh, with the Connecticut uh, uh, binder and the filler is Connecticut, and and there's there's a something that they refer to as a Pennsylvania Type 41. Tell you the truth, I can't even describe what that is. But as for what what the cigar is, wonderful. Just actually reviewed this for the show. Eat, drink, smoke. Big earthy flavor. Good bit of cedar uh, coming off there, which is a flavor I love. Right, that woody, that cedar. It, it, I, I get asked, do you ever get oak off a cigar? I never have. Oak is a, is a bourbon thing because it's in an oak barrel. I have never gotten that, but but certainly I've gotten wood, I've gotten hay, I've gotten grasses, which are all flavors I adore in a in in, in a cigar more than I like, let's say, spice. If, if you tell me a cigar is big on black pepper, uh, that's less interesting to me than those than the the earthy leathers, wood kind of flavors. The American, I thought was was perfectly constructed, uh, probably last year a good hour and a half uh, a, 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 as a smoke, and you probably find it between sixteen and twenty dollars. So uh, the CAO, uh, the America, and you can find the Landmark or the Potomac. It's got a couple different uh, uh, styles there. The Camacho Liberty Series twenty twenty one, the American from J C Newman. That is how I recommend you celebrate this Independence Day. Oh. And a copy of the Declaration of Independence that you talk about with your kids.